Back in September in England, Discovery's new Blue Water 50 catamaran made her debut. Shortly after the boat show, a delivery crew sailed her from England to the Canary Islands at Las Palmas. We and four other photojournalists had agreed to sail her onwards, the nearly 3,000 miles across the Atlantic to the Caribbean. It will be our first major passage on a catamaran and a great chance to experience a crossing on this luxurious vessel. Go. All right. Oh, oh. We're just going forward as we can't get the dinghy down. We're going to go forward and take a look at the bow, which has a little tiny chip in it. Gosh, can't have that. We were just filling up with fuel for the last fill up before we head off across the Atlantic. Took another 600 liters that we probably won't need. And then we realized we had a little chip in the bow, so there we go. Okay, here Where's that thing? Right I'm not going to hit this thing. That's heavy. We definitely want to clear that up before we go to sea and get it in salt water the whole time and get moisture into the hull. So we can just come down here just to rinse it off. Here, we're just going to clear out. Are we now? We've been here a few days. Hey, Alex, we'll be back in a bit. We're going to go and clear out, so we have to go to the port first been here about four days getting all set up. Cheryl's busy washing vegetables. Yeah, just doing a produce wash on any of the loose vegetables and fruits. Uh, you know, there are cockroaches and various little insects around these tropical places, so we don't want them on the boat. And it's a beautiful afternoon, so it's not a bad job. There she is, sitting all ready to go, except for the last load of laundries out. And the bows are just a little low in the water. Las Palmas Port and all of the oil rigs tied up in here. They do a lot of servicing work on oil rigs. We'll pass them as we go out. Cheryl getting her last minute social media done <laughs> before we lose coverage. First morning watch. Wind has come up a little, so we've got some. 13, 13 knots now from the stern. We've got both the jibs set. And this is the rig we were hoping to use most of the way across the Atlantic. Both jibs dead down when we're making about seven, six and a half, seven. night out. We're making about 10 knots here. Oh, we're about a hundred and some odd miles off the Sahara coast and the wind has picked up a little bit so now we've got something like 18 knots or 19 knots from the stern. It's giving us a relative good heading with a quarter wind and a nice speed happening here. Beautiful.
lunch. So we're having chicken burgers, coleslaw, on bimbo bread, on bimbo <laughs> buns, <laughs> and potato wedges. Hey, we're gonna go and start up the water maker. We just put the new filter in, so I wanna check that it's gonna work okay. So we're just gonna start the water maker, do a start up on it here, and it's the first time since we put the pre-filter back in. I'm not sure if it's working or not. It's full of water. I don't know if it's, if it's actually working. The little engine doesn't seem to be doing very much. Well, it filled up to the top, but the water doesn't seem to be going through very fast, and it's not very loud. Does it, does it seem like it's working? He's going to start it again. It's working. It's 60 liters an hour. You see it right up in the green there? It's staying nice and steady. Yep. I have high confidence now. Every minute that's gone by... I'm, so it was just I'm that we changed happy. the pre-filter, got air in. We changed the filter, air in the system. It just and water makers need to run. You just you know you gotta get them going, baby them a bit, and then once they get running, they they settle in. Perfect. Yeah. It's good news. We're gonna have showers tonight. What's hanging out in the back of the boat there? Well, Paul, uh, this morning uh, we tried the water maker out. Uh, noticed the pr product uh, was a bit down than normal, so it's a sign that your filter may be dirty. So today I just switched out, put a new filter on. But these uh, surface filters, five micron filters, are pretty easy. You can use them um, a couple times. You gotta clean off the stuff on the outside of the, the filter. So we just haul this one out. I put it in earlier. It was very, very, very dirty. It had been used, uh, I think, at a harbor. But you can see, when these are new, they're bright white. Uh, right now, there's only about 25 hours on it. It, it might be a little earlier, but uh, from what we understand, this may have been run in a dirty harbor before uh, before it left England, so we might have got some uh, premature uh, extra uh, dirt in it. Before, and that's uh, normal, right? Yeah. We hope to get 20 hours or so out of it. Oh, at least, at least, yeah. Cool, at thank least, you. So. Wow, amazing. Okay, so we're gonna try taking a... Oh, oh, okay. oh poor baby. Okay, so Man the up. plan here is we're gonna open up the oh, hatch. shoes on a boat. See if we can tighten up the handles. Right. And what was their plan about opening the hatch? Well, that was if you wanted to check the gasket. Yeah. Just the gasket? Yeah. I don't think you need to open it for oh, this. No, 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 no. I don't no, think no, that's no. gonna work. No, no I don't the think so. The handles can be tightened up by removing the blue locking clip on right. each handle, which will expose a Phillips head screw, which, when tightened, will help put more compression onto the gasket. They are loose. These handles are loose. That's They're very loose. easy to close. That's but too easy see, to close, see the, isn't it? See, so the, the, see the play in it? Look, look. There's yeah, that. it's kind of... That's way too loose. So there's a Phillips. There's a Phillips. Let's just snug her up. This is the modern age of cruising. We can oh, email loose. somebody. Now they seem a bit more solid. All okay. right, we'll try that. Let's try that. Wow. That looks this. awesome. Thank you, Dan. And for the Wyoming um, for the cinnamon like buns. Kings. The cinnamon yes. buns were.
Join us next time for week two of this crossing as we greet friendly dolphins, learn more tricks with the spinnaker, swim where the water is three miles deep mid-ocean, and continue our foodie cruise across the Atlantic heading for the Caribbean. We gave a good fight. We gave a good fight, yeah, about a good 20, 30 minutes. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. Are you interested in the cruising lifestyle? Are you planning to sail away on a cruising adventure? Or researching cruising areas and destinations? Distant Shores is a television series about the cruising life with lots of tips for sailors planning to sail away. This is Oswego, New York. We are entering the Erie Canal system and this will take us all the way from Lake Ontario to the Hudson River, which gets us to New York City. Plus destination information to help you make your cruising plans. Yeah, I can stand on the bottom. We've been filming distant shores for nearly 15 years and know the fun and challenges of the cruising life. We've made distant shores with you in mind. We include plenty of cruising tips in this travel series as well as lifestyle segments and hints for sailors heading to exotic destinations. Encouragement for you and your crew to get out cruising. Destinations include the Intracoastal Waterway, the Bahamas, Caribbean, the Mediterranean, Scandinavia, transatlantic passage making, the French canals and more.